Do you speak shell script? No, but really, if you are sometimes in need of writing or extending shell scripts, this video is straight for you. Welcome to another quick bite. Today we are talking about shell check. If you are developing software in other high level languages like C++, Rust, PHP or JavaScript, you are most likely using a linter combined with other static analysis tools to automatically protect you from making easy to prevent mistakes as well as ensuring you are warned about syntactical problems in your code early. Shell check is all this but for shell script. As shell script can be a little bit quirky sometimes, having a static analysis tool for it makes things even more interesting. It does not only validate the syntax for you, but provides you with sophisticated hints to slide over sites which could cost you hours of debugging. Does this sound like something you want? Then let's install ShellCheck. The tool itself is available in all major package managers on Linux, macOS and Windows. And therefore quite quickly installed by simply issuing the proper command. Alternatively, you can simply download statically linked binaries ready for mostly any system. This one executable is everything you need to get going. Once installed, the shell check command can be used from the terminal to scan any given shell script easily. The output does not only show in detail what is wrong with the script, but provides suggestions as well as examples on how to fix the given situation. Besides the direct usage of the shellcheck binary on the command line, there is a great amount of plugins for all sorts of IDEs and editors. I'm using the shellcheck extension for Visual Studio Code quite extensively. Here it is installed quickly through the marketplace in just a small amount of clicks. In conjunction with the Errorlens extension, for example, it provides its services directly in line with my editor window. In addition to the provided error message, which is on its own quite informative, a link to the shellcheck wiki is always provided with further information about the encountered problem. Here you can see the problem in detail with a lot of different examples and suggestions on how to make things better and clearer. Shellcheck is specific to the shell you are writing the script for. Most of my scripts are POSIX compatible and therefore use a shebang line of bin sh. But should you decide to specifically target another shell, like bash in this example, shellcheck will automatically understand this fact and provide the hints accordingly. Here we can see that the usage of random does not make any problems, because bash understands this. If we are changing the shebang line now to bin sh to be POSIX compatible, shellcheck will tell us that the use of random is no longer possible here. If the file you are working on does not have a shebang line, because it is for example sourced from somewhere else, the shell type can be specified nevertheless by using a magic comment. In addition to using magic comments to specify the shell you are working in, such comments can furthermore be used to disable a specific check for a function or a specific line if you really need to use a paradigm somewhere which shell check deems dirty. In this specific case here, we have a read command which reads input from the user. Usually, shellcheck tells us that we should use the minus r flag with the read command because otherwise backslashes entered by the user are mangled. In this specific situation, we know that we don't care about backslashes within the input from the user, therefore we can simply ignore it. Thanks for joining me for this quick bite. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be informed once the next one is published. Bye!